Hello, Booktube. It is Thea, and it has been a while since I have filmed a video for my channel. I did do my Booktubeathon vlogs, but this is like my first official like filming video back in about a year and i am so excited to be back and what better way to come back than with a tbr so after a year away from my channel i am back with my september tbr and it is a big one i have a lot of books on my tbr because i am just i am so much back into reading i'm so excited to be reading these books and i'm just so excited to be back on my channel and i've got some great books that have sequels coming out this month that i'm like excited to get into and I've got a couple read-along books that I'm participating in, and so I'm and I'm out of my reading slump, and so I'm just excited. I am so happy to be back. I'm excited to be reading, and I can't wait to show you guys what I plan on reading in September. So I will dive right in and show you guys what my September TBR is. So the first book that I plan on reading in September is actually going to be a book that's kind of going to carry over from August since I'm currently reading it. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it in time. And that is Soul Music by Terry Pratchett. This was kind of what's left over from my Booktubeathon TBR that I didn't get around to. Um, and I've been slowly making my way through and I'm only like 100 pages in. Um, and while I'm filming this, it's like the last few days in August. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get this finished before September starts. So this is going to be kind of my, my rollover book from August, but this isn't technically officially on my September TBR, but this will be the first thing that I'm going to read when September 1st hits. So the first official book on my September TBR is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This book is everywhere on booktube, um, and I feel like I'm kind of late <laughs> to the hype train for this. This book is actually a book that I'm going to be reading with my YA book club, and so we're going to be reading this and kind of discussing it and talking about it, and then I know the movie Adaptation is coming out in a month or so. I'm just so excited to dive into this. And this next book is the first kind of booktube read-along um, thon happening that I'm going to be participating in, and that is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. I am so excited to dive into this. Everyone has read about this on booktube. I feel like, again, I'm late to the hype train and everyone has read this but me, but I am so excited to dive into this. This thing is a chunker, um, but I've heard it's really fast-paced. I've heard it's really funny. I'm really excited to dive into this. And this uh, read-along kind of... Um, Readathon is happening uh, over at Common Spence's channel, and they're doing a live show for this on the, I believe it's the 15th. I will link all of that information down below if you want to participate. Um, I also have this as an audiobook, so I might be might listen to it as an audiobook because I've heard that the audiobook is just so hilarious. And so I just I cannot wait to dive into this, and I'm so excited to finally read this. And, and then the sequel comes out in September as well. So hopefully, if I like this, maybe I'll end up buying a physical copy and then getting the sequel. And the next book on my TBR is the second book to read along, read along happening that I'm going to be participating in. And that's Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I am so excited to dive into this. I have owned this for at least two years. Um, and I've had it on my TBR ever since it came out. I love the Illuminate Files with Jake Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, but I've never read any of his single standalone stuff, so I am so excited to dive into this and finally find out how I feel about it. I know it's really kind of on the fence. Either people love it or people hate it, um, but I'm excited to find out where I fall, and I don't really know much about this. I just know that it's kind of a dark, epic fantasy involving assassins um and it's jake Kristoff, so you know that there's probably going to be some dark deaths in here but i am super excited to dive into this i will have all the uh, i will link uh, katrina's video regarding the readathon happening for this and their live show is going to be for september 30th so i definitely have the entire month to read this and i'm so excited to dive into this the next book on my TBR is Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Complete Manga. My boyfriend is a huge Legend of Zelda fan. I'm not a huge gamer, but I do enjoy watching him play and kind of learning a little bit about the story. Um, but this was a way for me to learn about the story in a format that fits me better. And the manga artwork is just absolutely adorable. So I cannot wait to dive into this and be able to know the whole story in a format that I like versus having to kind of get bits and pieces of the story from the game. So I'm really excited to dive into this and this edition is just absolutely gorgeous. So I cannot wait to dive into this and learn the entire story. 
And the next book on my TBR was a book that I was not planning on being in September. It was actually going to be something that I got to later, um, probably in like October or November. But I saw it in my library yesterday and I could not pass it up because this book has been on my TBR for like about the whole year, maybe even longer. Um, it's been out for a while. It is like hyped on booktube right now. Everyone is reading this and everyone is loving it. And I, every time I go into Barnes and Noble, I just want to buy it. It's just a beautiful book, but I can't justify spending the money on it right now because I am on a book buying ban. And the library's hold list is just insane. But I found a copy yesterday. Oh my God, you guys. Children of Blood and Bone. I am so excited to read this. And I just, I was just sitting on the shelf. And the weird thing is, is like my library showed that like all copies were in use and there was like none available. And then there it is, just sitting on the shelf. And I was like, um, yes, please. I am taking you home with me. And I am reading you in September, even though this is a book for my book club in November, I was like, I have to read you now. So I am so excited to read this and everyone is loving it. Oh my God, I cannot wait. But this thing is huge. I really don't know if I'm gonna get to it in September. It's unrealistic to think I'm gonna be able to get to it, but I really wanna read it so bad. It's just everywhere and everyone is loving it, but oh, I really hope to get to this in September. Um, yeah, I just, and I, I mean, I don't need to talk about what this book is about. Everyone is loving it, everyone is reading it. But yeah, I feel like I don't really need to give any description about this book because it's everywhere. Um, but I am just so excited that I finally, like, even though I don't own a physical copy, like, I'm just excited that I am, like, that this is in my hands right now. This was, like, one of my most anticipated books of the year, and I finally, like, am, like, physically holding it, and I'm so excited to dive into it. And I really, really hope that I can get to it in September, but we will see how my reading month goes. Um, but let's, if not in September, then definitely in October. And the next thing on my TBR is actually something that was not on my TBR until it was not something I had ever heard about until like Booktubeathon. I was watching um, Ashley's vlog. I don't remember her channel and I'll link her down below. But she was talking about how much she loved this series and it was something I had never even heard of. But she was describing it and it sounded like basically everything I wanted to read. And it sounded like something that I would absolutely just devour and love. And that is Fence Volume 1 by C.S. Picat. This uh, C.S. Picat's the writer of the, um, oh, that Captive captive Prince theory, series, I think. I'll link it down below. Um, but this just sounded like everything I wanted in a graphic novel. It's about this boy named Nicholas who is goes, gets, accepted, gets accepted to this prestigious kind of private fencing school um, and starts learning how to, like, fence. And he has to uh, face off against his half-brother, but also this, like, mysterious um guy who he falls in love with i'm assuming um because it does have male male romance which was i was sold i was like male male romance male accepted into a fencing school yes please like give me that and it just sounds adorable the artwork is absolutely adorable i just love this and this just recently came out i believe in like july um, but I'm ex really excited to dive into this and just hoping that I love this. But this was just, and this is a graphic novel, so it'll be a really quick, easy read. I can read this in one sitting, but I'm really excited to dive into this. The next book on my TBR is actually kind of a collection of two or three books and a couple and a novella. Um, but last year I read Three Dark Crowns and absolutely loved it. This was just everything I wanted in like a fall kind of dark fantasy um and with the rest and with the third book coming out this year i figured i would get kind of die back into the series so i'm gonna go ahead and reread three dark crowns by kendar blake i probably will just listen to this as an audiobook since once i since i've already read it it'll just be a really quick easy read just kind of as a refresher and then i can go ahead and dive into one dark throne this is the second book in the series and i have not read this yet i'm so excited to dive back into this world i just love everything about this series it's just the perfect like dark fall transition fantasy series and i'm just everything i'm just i'm just here for so i'm so excited to dive into this and then hopefully before the hopefully I get these two finished before the third book comes out and dive into 
Queen of Fenborns, which is the kind of bind-up of the two novellas that came out for the series. The two novellas include The Young Queens and The Oracle Queen. I believe one is a prequel novella and one just takes place between in, within the world. But I do plan on picking these two up. And then once I get through this, picking up the third book in the series, which is Two Dark Reigns, I believe. I will put it here. Um, but I'm so excited to just marathon this whole series and be back, dive back into this just dark fall fantasy. I love everything about this, so I'm so excited to dive into these. So here is my overambitious September TBR. I am really excited to dive into all of these. Everything on here is stuff that I've been wanting to read for a while or some new favorites. I am excited to dive back into some old favorites, discover some new favorites. What are you guys reading in September? I would love to hear about your thoughts and opinions on any of these or anything that you're going to be reading. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe now that I'm back on my channel to get notified of when I post new videos. Um, but happy reading, ha happy September, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.